Hello, hello. Welcome to Happy Productive episode number 30. I cannot believe I've recorded 30 or I'm recording 30 <laughs> of these episodes. My name is Jennifer Dawn. I'm a business coach and founder of The Best Planner Ever. The Happy Productive podcast is your go to resource for learning how to bring awareness into your productivity, your goals, and all your time management practices so you can set yourself up each day for as much love and joy and happiness as you can possibly handle. Now, today we're going to be talking about living from the higher emotions. And this is a wonderful practice that I would encourage everybody to embrace every single day, right? Living from the higher emotions. This is actually an excerpt from a live training that we recently did for all of our private clients last week. And here's just a little piece that I wanted to pull out and I wanted to share with you today. And what I want to talk about is the emotional scale. So when we talk about living from the higher emotions, it's really important to understand that there is actually an emotional scale. And on the emotional scale, it basically goes from zero to a thousand. And this is something you can Google, just get on Google and Google images and Google emotional scale. And you're going to see dozens and dozens of examples. If you want to see a visual of what this actually looks like. And so on the emotional scale, if you just imagine at the bottom where it starts at zero, that's where you're going to see emotions like guilt and shame and grief, depression, Okay, those kinds of things are at the very, very bottom of the emotional scale. And the scale goes from zero to a thousand. So as we get higher to the top of the scale, we're gonna to start to see things like love and joy and peace. Those are gonna be 500 and above on the scale. And at the very, very top from 700 to a thousand is enlightenment. So if you kind of visualize this as we go through today's podcast, low on the scale, guilt, grief, fear, okay, high on the scale are going to be our peace, our acceptance, our love, our joy, those kinds of things are at the high end of the scale. Now here's the trick. The trick is to live a higher percentage of your day in the higher emotions than what we're living the lower ones. You've heard of the 80, 20 rule. This would be one, one wonderful application of it. So if we could live 80% of our day in those higher emotions, we would be ahead of most of the population of the planet. Okay. And it does not mean though, I want to be really clear. It doesn't mean that you're going to live 24 seven, every moment of the day in those higher emotions. There will be times where things will happen and they will get you down or something will happen and it will trigger anger. Or you might catch yourself beating yourself up, right? When we beat ourselves up, what we're doing is shaming ourselves. Shaming is at the very, very bottom of the scale. It's like at 20 out of a thousand. So every time we're, we're, we're catching ourselves, like beating ourselves up, it's actually an opportunity to, to make a different choice, right? So that we can operate on a higher end of the scale. And I thought today that I would actually share with you a story of, from my own life of how this actually applies. And so for the last several months, my husband and I, um, we have this bed and I love the bed. <laughs> it's very comfortable bed. And I love crawling in bed every night after a really good, you know, really good long day. I've worked hard. I feel good. I put good stuff out into the world. I'm super satisfied. And I love crawling into this, you know, nice soft bed. My husband, however, likes a firmer mattress. And for the last several months, he's really been complaining that our mattress is hurting his back and he's not sleeping. And every day, you know, he wakes up and he's not in a great place because he didn't sleep very good. And so finally, after months and months of this, we agreed, we're going to go get a new bed. I didn't want to give up my bed. I'll be honest with you guys, but my husband also deserves to have a good night's sleep. And so we go to the bed store, we pick out a bed and everything is just like clockwork, bing, 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 pick this great new bed. It gets delivered the next week. And we'd gone to a couple of bed stores before and they were like, you know, everything's back ordered three months. We can't get anything, but we went to a different place and it was just like clockwork, got a great new bed at a price we were happy with. It was going to be delivered the next week. And so the week that it was delivered, I had a very, very busy schedule and it's okay to have a busy schedule. Um, but you know, it's one of those schedules where it's like, okay, I've got to really put myself out there. And so the bed gets delivered on Thursday night. And this is after, you know, four long days of a heavy schedule and I'm tired and I'm like, Ooh, let me crawl into this new bed. And the thing was like a brick. <laughs> it was awful. And I did not sleep. And I was so angry because when I woke up in the morning, it was just like, 
it was a Friday morning. I had, I had the, the training to teach and I had a full client load that day and I didn't get sleep and I'm older, you guys, like I need my sleep every night. And so I woke up in this very, very bad place and I was awake at like 4 a.m. I'm an early riser, but four is still a little early for me at 4.30, really annoyed, really tired, really pissed off. I just went ahead and got up at 4.30, decided, let me just go and at least get some work done. I'm trying to work. I'm literally in tears. I was just so tired. My husband comes into the, the, the room early because he knew I was up. He was worried about me. And I'm just like, Rawr. <laughs> I'm like not in the mood to be nice because I'm in such a bad place. And I know that each and every one of you have experienced this where it does not matter how much you work on yourself, how much mindset work you do, something in life is going to flip you to the bad side. It does not matter. And when you get into that bad, bad spot, that's the time where we have a choice. Okay. We can lash out at others. We can be angry. Um, we can be resentful. We can do all of these different things. And I'll be honest, I did a little bit of that. My husband was like, I'm sorry, honey. And I was like, you should be sorry <laughs> because you took away my bed. He didn't take away my bed. We chose to go get a new bed together. Okay. But when you're so tired and you're in that place, you're coming from the anger. Okay. I was seeing everything in my world through anger. Well, anger is at 150 on the scale. So if the scale goes from zero to a thousand, when you're at anger, you're way down at the bottom at 150. And so when you're at 150, you're going to see things from a very, very different place. You can't see the big picture. You can't see the, um, the, the concern my husband actually had for me. Like I couldn't see it because I'm looking through the filter of anger at that very, very low negative place. Okay. So it's right then when I had a choice and it's right then in that moment that you have a choice too. Anything that dips you into those lower emotions right then and there, you have a choice. And what I chose to do was to accept it. And when I say acceptance, I mean the fact that I was tired, I was just tired, okay? But I had a choice. I could accept that I was tired and move through my day tired and be okay with it. Or I could not accept that I was tired and I could be really pissed off about it all day long. The thing is this, the tired isn't going away. I had to deal with being tired, just like anything going on in your life. You still have to deal with whatever is in front of you, but I got a choice. I could go through the day tired in acceptance and acceptance is at 350 on the scale, right? So it jumps me way up to 350 just by accepting the fact that I'm tired and from a tired place, I could still move through my day. I still showed up. I still taught my training. I still, you know, helped coach my clients. I still worked with my team. I still did all of those things. Was I tired? Yes. But as soon as I accepted that I was tired and I let go of that anger, my energy shifted. I ended up really having a wonderful day, even though I was tired the whole day. I, you can't get rid of that piece and that's okay, but still had a wonderful day. But the choice I could have made was to stay in the anger, right? I could have moved through the entire day in anger, which is at 150 on that scale. Would I have been fun to be around? No. Would I have been able to serve my clients the way that I did? No. Would I be able to see things from the perspective I need to see it at to be able to help other people? No, because when you're in those lower emotions, it's like wearing you know, blinders or really, really dark glasses. As soon as you step into the higher emotions, your perspective changes. And it's literally like the clouds parting and the light being able to get in. When you're in that anger, you've got those clouds, you cannot feel the warmth of the sunshine. But as soon as you accept, this is where I'm at today and it's okay. And acceptance moves you up that emotional scale. It literally is like the clouds parting, the sun can come through and you can literally feel that warm sunshine. It's like this beautiful release that happens as soon as you start to step into those higher emotions. And once I did, I realized that I was actually going to be able to 
teach this better. Show up today in my podcast, right? And teach this better because I've been there. I've had to do the work when you get into that space and you just feel so horrible, but you want to get out of it. And it is absolutely possible. The other thing that I really like to keep in mind is that I'm a, a big fan of law of attraction. It's a law like attracts like we all know this. Okay. And think about this for a second. If like attracts like, then whatever I'm putting out is what I'm going to get back. So if I'm walking around in anger at 150 on the scale, well, what do you think I'm going to get back in my day when I'm walking around at 150? On the flip side of it, if I choose acceptance, and then I raise myself up to 350 on the scale and I'm walking around all day in 350. What do you think is going to come back at 350? And here's the other beautiful piece of it. This was that as soon as, as I, as I chose acceptance and that moved me up on the scale from that place, things shifted. And once they shifted, I actually got a lot happier and I could feel my joy returning joys at about 540 on the scale. Once I accepted that I was just tired and I was just going to move through the day tired, that really helped me to just make peace with it. Well, peace is at about, at about 600 on the scale. And so when you're like making peace and now you're up in the 600 range, all your joy and your happiness just comes floating right back. It was never gone, but it was the anger that was really a blocker to feeling that love and that joy and that happiness that's there all the time. So by choosing a different emotion, we can remove that blocker and then boom, start to feel better. And this will work for any challenge that's going on in your life by you making a choice over which emotional state that you want to go through it in. Now, it doesn't mean that your life is going to be perfect. It won't. It doesn't mean you can get rid of the tired. I could not get rid of the tired or whatever your version of tired is but you do get to choose how you're going to move through it in whatever emotional state that you want to be in. Okay. And what I mean by this is let's say that whatever's going on in your life that you're not happy about. Okay. You could choose like I did, you could choose to accept this is where I'm at right now. And it's okay. You could choose trust, right? I'm trusting in life that this is whatever's happening to me is in my highest and best interest. And as soon as you, you choose to trust, instead of being angry, instead of being um, shaming yourself or beating yourself up, right? Instead of doing any of that kind of stuff, as soon as you choose to trust, I can't see the whole picture, but I trust this is in my highest and best interest. It will shift you up that scale. You still have to step up and deal with whatever is happening. You do, but you can do it from a higher emotional place. Maybe you're like super impatient. You're just like, ah, this is never going to happen. And so you're generating a lot of impatience, which is very low on the scale. So instead, what you could do is you could choose to have patience, which is way high on the scale, right? I choose to be patient. This is going to work out in the right time that it's supposed to work out. And you will feel that shift from the lower to the higher. Maybe you need to choose to let it go. You're trying to just desperately trying to control whatever is going on in your external world. And so instead of that, you could choose to let go. You could choose to surrender. You could choose to get in the flow of life and go along with it instead of fighting against it. This is always up to you. If you have a vision board or goals that you look at and you're like, you look at them and you're just like, it's not happening or it's not happening fast enough. What happens? You're now taking your beautiful vision and your beautiful goals and you are literally generating a negative emotional space around them. Because as soon as you look at them with impatience, with it hasn't happened yet, I'm not good enough, I can't do this, right? You're shaming yourself, you're beating yourself up. Even though you've done this work to create a vision or to create goals, but now you start to generate all this negative emotion around it and come at it from a low, um, a low emotional space. What's happening? We get what we put out, right? So we really have to look at what emotions am I coming at my vision? Am I coming at my goals with? Same thing to do with our productivity, our time management. If we look at our day and we're pissed off and we're resentful and we're angry because oh, we have so much to do today, 
Now we're coming at our day and our time management from a very negative emotional space. And when we're down in those lower emotions, when we're at, you know, 20, 40, 50, hundred on that scale, and that's what we're putting out, what are we going to get more back of? What are we going to get more back from? Okay. So instead, when we look at our day, if we could choose to accept, Hey, this is my day to day, make peace, peace is at 600. I'm going to make peace with, this is my day. And I'm going to go through my day and I'm going to love it. And I'm going to be grateful for it. And I'm going to say no to things. And it's going to, I'm going to set some boundaries or whatever that is for you in your day to day. And you can start to come at your day from that higher emotional space. Then guess what? You're putting yourself out on that higher scale and you're going to start to get more and more of that back. You can practice this with any challenge going on in your life. And you can always choose a different emotion to, to move through it in. Okay. Doesn't mean that we get out of dealing with what we need to deal with. Life is going to go on guys. It doesn't give two craps <laughs> about whether or not it's upsetting you or not. And everything in your life is truly for your highest and best interest. But if you can't see that from the higher emotional state, the, the lesson will be lost upon you and you will continue to struggle. And we definitely don't want that. Okay. So you always get a choice and I hope that you choose that higher place. And when you do, it's going to open yourself up like clouds parting and the sun being able to get through so that you can see things in the right perspective and, you know, set a goal to just say like, Hey, would, wouldn't it be amazing if 80% of your day was on the scale and you were at like 500 and above every single day, that would be a pretty amazing life. All right, you guys, I really hope that you will make a choice to move through whatever it might be going on in your life from a higher place on that emotional scale. If you need some help with this, I totally get it. Come and check us out. You can learn about my coaching at jenniferdawncoaching.com. If today's the day you're like, hey, I want a better time management system, check us out at bestplannerever.com. And if you would like full access to our living from the higher emotions training, this is available through our goal achievers membership. And you can find this at bestplannerever.com goal achievers. We do a live training every single month. We have a team of coaches. So if you get stuck, you can ask them a question and you get access to our full library of all of our content. And guys, it's like 39 bucks a month. You really can't beat that. <laughs> if you want to work on yourself, we tried to make money so that it was not a barrier that any person could get in, get access to our content and be able to start improving their lives and living their joy like right now today. Okay. Thank you so much for listening. I know your time is valuable and I appreciate you sharing it with me. Now get out there and have a happy, productive day.